Hi everyone, I'm Sorrel Hoover with Keller Williams here in Clemson. I wanted to talk to you today about the five pros and cons of living in our city. The first one is, of course, living close to the university. If you're looking for somewhere to live, uh, being close to the university, there's always lots of cultural activities going on, diversity, sporting events, plays, activities, always something to go and find and do. So I love that part of it. The next one is actually our weather. So I actually moved up here from Florida almost 25 years ago. And what I love about Clemson is we get all four seasons here, but without the snow. So if you don't like shoveling snow, Clemson is a great place to consider. Our average temperature here in summer is 87 and average winter temperature is 52. So I love that as well. So very little snow. Another pro of living here is actually our cost of living. We're actually 9% less than the national average. Also, if you're coming here from, say, somewhere from New York or California, our property taxes are much, much less. In fact, here in Clemson, our property taxes in our city alone are even less than some of our surrounding cities like Greenville or Pendleton or even Anderson. So something to look at if you're concerned about property taxes. Another great part of living here in Clemson is you're close to mountains and lakes and parks. Clemson University has over 18,000 acres of forest that we get to go biking and hiking and trail riding in. Um, so I love that aspect. If you're wanting to be in the forest, if you're an outdoors person, that's a great thing to be able to take advantage of. If you're a boater, we have Lake Hartwell. And so that's an incredible lake that you can go boating, fishing, water skiing, um, camping, all of those things around the lake or on the lake. So definitely take advantage of being outdoors here in Clemson. Okay, so now we're in my office here in Patrick Square, which is about three miles from the university. And we've got some new homes here as well, some resale, as well as we've got some brand new construction homes just less than half a mile down the road. So now we're gonna talk about some of the cons of living in Clemson. The first one is gonna be people are actually finding out about Clemson. Uh, the university has done a great job of putting us on the map and people are saying this seems like a great place to raise a family, retire, etc. So the population in Clemson has been growing steadily. Right now we've got right around 18,000 people in the city that live here full time and then you add on the student population which is getting up there around 28,000 students per semester. So they don't all live here but probably about 22,000 of them do live here. So as you can tell, it gets quite crowded around here at times. Number two is not only do we have the population that's been growing, but when we have home football games, we've got now 100,000 people descending on our small town. It's a great time. We love it. College game day is fantastic when they get here, but it's chaos. We have some of the best tailgating in the country. Everyone will tell you that. This is so much fun to be around. But if you're not into football, you're not gonna wanna go outside on football days. You're not gonna wanna drive anywhere. In fact, most people just stay home or a lot of them actually rent out their homes and they leave the town completely and go somewhere else for the weekend. So that's up to you. If you love football, you're gonna have a blast here. I will say, if you need to go to the grocery store though, that's the best time to go is during the football game because there's no one on the streets then. So number three is our location. So we're located in the upstate of South Carolina, so we're right close to the mountains, but we're kind of far away from some airports. So Atlanta Airport is two hours away, as well as Charlotte and Columbia. So those are great options to go to, but I think the best option is actually the Greenville International Airport. It's about 45 minutes away, so it's convenient, and most likely you're gonna have to travel through Atlanta or Charlotte to wherever you're going. So. We don't have a lot of non-stop out of Greenville. Still a great airport because it's small. Love that part of it. Number four is, like I was talking to you about population here, the traffic. Clemson's not really a very walkable city, so we do have a lot of cars on the streets. I would just take that into consideration if you're trying to get on 123, which is our main thoroughfare, it can get a little crowded during rush hour time, in the morning, lunchtime, and afternoon. Usually during the day, it's not so bad, but just keep that in mind to give yourself an extra five or 10 minutes to get through that Highway 123 section of downtown. So number five is the fact that we have a low inventory of resale homes here. 
So when people retire, a lot of times they don't move away. They like living here so much that this is where they want to enjoy their golden years or enjoy all that Clemson has to offer as well. So the resale has been difficult. Right now there's less than 30 homes. So I tell people if you've got to sleep on it, you may not be sleeping in it. So you need to act quickly whenever you find something that you really like because it's very common to go into multiple offers here as well. So those are just some of the things to think about uh, if you're looking to move here to Clemson. I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons and I hope that if you're looking for a home or a condo in this area, feel free to look me up. Again, I'm Sorrel Hoover with Keller Williams here in Clemson. Thank you.